Hey guys, what is up? Austin Smith here today with a review of the Openel number two little folding. I mean, it could be a pocket knife, it could also be a something smaller than a pocket knife. It is super, super tiny. Uh, Openel is a French company that makes uh, some unique knives that are basically peasant, uh, not traditional peasant knives from France. This one is a larger one, this one is the number six, not the number two. Uh, they're generally even numbers, although there are some that are uh, odd numbers. I don't exactly know how the numbering system works, but they get bigger when you increase the number size. This one is in uh, a carbon steel. It's got a bit of a patina on it, as you can see. Uh, that was mostly due to neglect because I got this knife a very, very long time ago when I was a very little kid and didn't know how to take care of knives. I'm surprised it survived. Anyway, looking at the Open L number two here, uh, all of their knives, I believe, come in uh, stainless steel or carbon steel. The carbon steel is the more popular version because it's cheaper and they're known for being very inexpensive knives. In fact, for the size, this one is actually quite expensive. This one's about ten dollars, which uh, for only a few more you could get one like this or even bigger the number uh, eight or some of the, those are some of the more popular ones and they are not much more than this knife but of course it takes a, a great deal of craftsmanship to be able to make a uh, tiny knife like this as well as a bigger knife so that they just take different skill sets and so it uh, it may seem like it'd be easier to make a tinier thing but it, as it gets small enough that it's hard it gets harder to make is sort of a sliding scale there. I don't exactly know where the tipping point is, but whatever. Uh, this one is not very common. It's hard to get a hold of. Uh, and it's usually... Uh, I guess it could be considered like a joke item uh, in some cases, and it's a keychain thing. So a lot of these come with a little hole right about there, and they have a keychain attached to them. So you can put it on your keys, sort of like the uh, the tiny... Uh, Victorinox is like I have one here. This is a Victorinox classic. I don't know if they have a different name for the aluminum version. I don't think they do. So there's there's a Victorinox classic so that you can see the scale here. Um, the packaging is this. Uh, it's literally a cardboard sleeve. Uh, with a uh, couple numbers on it. There's nothing to it, and it's just stuck in this sleeve when you get it. There's no. Uh, instructions or warranty information or anything like that. It's just that. Uh, this knife is super, super tiny. So it doesn't have... I don't know what the regular open house come with. Mine, uh, other one didn't come with the box when I bought it. Uh, I think I just said no box at the time though. I just put it in my pocket because I was at a store. So I don't know what boxes these things normally come with, if they even come with boxes. There's the tiny, tiny blade. It says Inox on it, which means stainless steel. I only buy stainless steel blades now because I uh, don't... Um, I have a lot of stuff I gotta do. and Taking care of a carbon blade is not something that I want to do. They are sharper. Uh, some people think they're prettier. I don't really, uh, but I can, I can understand why some people do. And... Uh, you know, it's just taking care of that and getting a good, uh, getting a good patina, or keeping it sharp and keeping it from just completely rusting into oblivion is not something that I'm very good at or really want to take the time to do. The blade is a little, about an inch and a half total, although there is a little bit there at the end. If you can see that, that isn't a cutting part. So the blade is probably, the cutting edge of the blade is probably about an inch. You can see there's a little stop right there where the blade just kind of, kind of stops. See, you can't really see it. It's in real life. It's a lot easier to see, but it is about, a, about an inch, maybe an inth, an inch and an eighth, of cutting edge there. It is less than two inches closed, which was the reason I bought this. This can fit, uh, and it does fit. I carry it every day inside an Altoids Smalls tin, not the regular Altoids tin, the Smalls. Uh, I, I carry it in there, and I uh, 
was originally going to put something like this in there, but this is actually too big. Things like this are too big to fit in there. Well, uh, technically they can fit in there, but you can't fit anything else in there at the time. So this is what I put in there. Uh, it's super simple. It's just got these handles that, while on the bigger version, they're basically a scaled down version, deliver a very nice grip. Very ergonomic there. Really nice. Um, here they're just kind of for show. There's nothing uh, to grip onto there or anything. Like It's kind of a, like I said, a keychain knife. Uh, it doesn't come super sharp out of the box. This one I've used I've used a bit, so it's not entirely fair, but uh, it does cut, but it's really toothy. Uh, really toothy edge there. It doesn't, uh, it's not a particularly sharp blade out of the box. None of the open L's uh, really are. They're sharp enough uh, out of the box, but they're not super, super sharp, but they can take a razor edge really easily, especially the carbon blade ones. Um, This one does not have a lock, obviously, like the bigger one. So there's just there's even less there. It's just it's just a tiny little blade that's good for simple keychain tasks. Like you need to open a letter or open a box or something like that. You need to clean underneath your fingernails. Uh, it's not going to get hard work done. That blade is super thin. Almost nothing to it. You can. Uh, it's almost almost paper thin. It's kind of kind of stiff. Doesn't really bend. Uh, so I suspect it could be it could be snapping prone. So you don't want to do too much with this blade. Uh, there isn't much to do with it with its size. So for what for like I say, cleaning your fingernails, trimming your fingernails, opening a letter, uh, something like that this blade works fine, it doesn't need to be super sharp, it doesn't need to be super strong you're not gonna do bushcraft things with it or something like that you're not gonna, these ones are usually like I say peasant knives, so they're like a gardening knife or something like that, you're not even gonna or gardening or a farming knife or whatever, you're not even gonna do that with these, with this tiny one um, but for what uh, you would use it for, and I use it for a, a basically extreme backup stuck in the uh, in the Altoids tin that I can take anywhere so if I happen to not have any of my other knives I can uh, I can use this one and I have had to use it a few times because uh, it's just so easy to easy to take anywhere which is its its main um, benefit I would say a uh, little size comparison here here is a Rough Rider Tiny Trapper which I actually got for the same reason and is a much less expensive and I don't use it because it's just slightly more complicated and it doesn't really add anything I like the open L more than I like this one and then here is that Victorinox classic uh, from before the blade uh, is about the same length as on the Victorinox classic although the Victorinox has a tang on it whereas the open L doesn't really have a tang uh, as you can see, it is even shorter than the Victorinox. Uh, and I think it looks... May maybe it doesn't look nicer than this uh, aluminum one. If you're going for a modern look, especially. But if you're going for sort of a classic look, this one looks, I think, nicer. Uh, and more interesting than some of the uh, plastic Victorinoxes. Although the, the classic plastic Victorinoxes are... Uh, just I immediately identifiable as a Swiss Army knife, which is nice. So yeah, that is that little guy. It's uh, it's good for what it does, but it's not really good for much. If you're looking for basically what I was looking for, which is a very tiny knife that isn't a box cutter, that's a folder that just um, fits inside of an Altoids tin, Altoids smallest tin and won't give you much of a problem. There's no blade play, there's nothing loose about the the pivot here, there's no lock to worry about. It's literally three pieces here. You have, or four pieces. You've got the wood, you've got the collar, you've got the pin, and you've got the blade. There's, there's nothing uh, that isn't super obvious that'll break. There's nothing you're gonna have to to fix. Uh, I mean, if, if it breaks, you probably gotta buy another one at that point. So it's it's super good at what it does. I like it a lot. 
uh, but it, it probably isn't everyone's cup of tea. The keychain version would probably be more useful to most people. So that's something to consider. And there we go. That's that. Bye.